What is cranking, folks? Today we're doing a little bit of a special video for you guys. We'll be reviewing the Bubonic Crankbait. Is it worth the buy? Should you guys invest money into it? I personally lose, you've been using this lure for about a week or two now, and I love it. Let's dive right into this video, show you guys, is this thing worth the buy? And we'll even roll some underwater footage for you guys. The Shimano SLX, we're gonna be tying this bad boy up to it, and then we're gonna be showing you guys some underwater footy. It's gonna be an amazing epi, and stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. Little uh, cup of gel before we hop into it here. I'm gonna get that crankbait tied on. I'll see you guys in five seconds. Oh no. Ooh, little rat. Look at this little guy. He looks so scared. I know he's not in the shelter. He's just a little shy of the camera right now. We're gonna try to get him acclimated to the camera. Then we got Behemoth. Suzy Thunder Baguita. Suzy, the absolute giant chihuahua. Oh, somebody's excited. Somebody's excited. You want to go outside? Come on, come on. What's going on, folks? Rip this here. dog barking in the back right now. Sorry about that, I do apologize. Shut up! That's a little longer than expected, but let's tie up the bubonic play, or bu <laughs> Let's tie up the bubonic crankbait and we'll hop right into it. here it's a little bit wet a little bit raining but I got the angle down here we're gonna actually cast this bubonic the ice chest here is way 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 bigger than the wheelbarrow actually so this is gonna give it a lot more action we're gonna actually be able to show you guys what it looks like here I'm just giving it a straight retrieve I'm just actually pulling it straight across like that look at the nice action there that it puts off show you guys what it really looks like and then we'll, uh, just look at that action this is the biggest ice chest I could find Then what I'm gonna be doing is actually uh, jerking it, like a jerk bait. This is what I find most successful, is when you actually jerk it like a jerk bait, it gives it that re that bastard little reaction strike time. You'll see there, three or four pops there before we hit the end of our ice chest. So those are the only two ways that I actually know how to use this lure. If you have any other ways on how to use it, please leave it down in the comments. I'd actually like to know. I'm always looking for new ways to fish and new ideas. So please leave it down in the comments if you guys have any cool ways to use this lure, whether that be straight retrieve or whatever you use to get the bass to bite. Because right now I'm having a hard time actually getting bass to bite. That's why I'm filming these videos because bass aren't biting right now. This lure by far definitely worth the buy and I advise you go and grab one right now. I'll leave a link that you can get them. I get no commission off this link. I'm not sponsored in any way. I'm just showing you guys what it's worth, but I'll leave a link down below on if you where you can go buy this product. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on another B and B Epi. Hope you guys did enjoy this little this little video. I had to change up the ice chest because I, it was either I did the wheelbarrow or the ice chest, and the wheelbarrow wasn't doing it justice, and it wasn't really giving a lot of action. So I switched it up to a 40 to 50 inch ice chest, and that really got the job done. I'm not actually sure. It's probably about a 60 inch ice chest from about a 30 inches to about 60 inches of water that. I could use show you guys the full amount of action i hope you guys enjoyed the underwater shots as well and without further ado we'll check out on this video thank you guys for watching